The developer console is an amazing tool that has many uses. It's one of the most convenient things in all of Roblox. Thanks to the developer console, people can easily navigate the game and do whatever they want inside the game. When testing a game, it's useful to see the output and error it creates. When running on Roblox Studio, the output window shows these messages. But when testing a live running version of the game, output messages and many other details should be accessed using the developer console. Opening the console. Depending on the platform, the developer console can be opened as follows. For Windows and Mac, you press the F9 key. For your phone or tablet, you type slash console into the chat or open the console from the in-game settings menu. Console sections. At the top of the console is a shortcut bar which shows a number of critical errors and warnings. Client memory usage and average ping time. Clicking any of these items will show the relevant details in the console. Below the shortcut bar are a series of tabs, the most informative being Log, Memory, and Network. The Log section shows diagnostic messages from in-game scripts, classified by either client or server. Output from local scripts running on the client appear in the Log under the client section of the console. Anyone running a game can view these local output messages. Output from scripts running on Roblox servers appears in the log under the server section of the console. Only the game's owner or group members with editing permission can access the section. Output messages in the log can also be filtered by toggling the following checkboxes. Output. Messages generated by calls to print statements in the game scripts. Information. Messages generated by the game that aren't errors or custom output statements. Warning. Messages which indicate a potential problem, but not a critical issue. Error. Messages which indicate that something critical has happened. Finally, the log under the server section includes a command bar which lets the game's editors run arbitrary Lua code. Note that this command bar has the same security restrictions as scripts and local scripts, which means it's not the same as the command bar in Studio and it cannot run protected functions. Memory. Models, terrain, parts, visual effects, scripts, physical contraptions, audio, and more can all contribute to total memory usage. The memory section of the console displays metrics on a game's memory usage. Within the view, the total memory is separated into three categories. Core memory, memory used by processes built into the Roblox engine such as networking, avatars, GUI elements, etc. Place memory, Memory that scales as a direct result of choices made as a game is built. Untracked memory. Arbitrary memory allocations that are not tagged. Memory management tips. Network. This section reveals how many web calls a game makes while running, including both explicit calls made through HTTP service and web requests made by Roblox services like Data Store Service. Near the top is a summary of the game's web calls, organized by type. Each type includes details on how many times it was requested, and how many requests failed, and time statistics. Below the summary is a details section which lists every individual web call. Each line shows the HTTP method, along with the status code, time to execute, request type, and request URL. Clicking on any row in the list shows the response details. That's all we have for this video, I hope you are able to put the console to use. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed, please comment down below how the developer console has helped you in the past. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content like this in the future.